Hi, everybody. This is Katie. Welcome to episode 15 of Dreamy Cloud Island. I finished all the outdoor spaces on the island, so today we are going to tackle the inside of my house. I really wanted the inside of my house to reflect the same type of style as we've done on the outside of the island, and so I am using the cloud flooring on every single one of the floors for all the rooms in my house. I'm walking through and deciding on what wall I'm going to use and kind of thinking about styles and themes and getting the walls and the floors in place. As I do, I am stopping in some of the rooms to just drop some of the items down, such as this basement room, which will be a little bit of an outdoor space. I've moved up to the attic and the upstairs room here has the beautiful starry floor. This galaxy flooring is the only one I'm using up here that's not the cloud flooring, but I like the way that it makes that room look like it's in the space. And then here in the back room, I'm putting together the bedroom area for my little girl's house. And so I'm using a lot of the really pretty little Sanrio items as well as some of the mermaid items and just dropping them in, in a little bit of a distance from the wall. And this is a trick if you're trying to make an area look a little bit more full or if you're really trying to keep the area from looking empty in the middle is to not go all the way to the edge. It doesn't work with every single design, but it definitely works well, I've discovered in this game with bedrooms, not to have that bed just flat up against a wall to make it a little bit more of the centerpiece in the room. One of the reasons I'm definitely doing this is because I also wanna make sure that the cloud flooring is the feature, that it really is the absolute hero of the builds. And so having everything come away from the wall a bit sort of focuses on that central billowy nature that the clouds are putting together for us, which is extra fun. Here I'm moving into the right room where I'm going to put a kitchen and I want the kitchen and the bathroom to actually look like kitchen and bathroom so I'm using a teal and yellow color scheme in here and I'm dropping a lot of the items in place that I'm choosing to use. I actually went around the room in two or three different variations trying to figure out how to orient it even though I had a good idea as to what was going to go in here and how it was going to go and I also discovered that the brown desk that I was using was just not the right look. So I did have to stop and order a couple of the white den desks to use instead of the brown one. And once I did that and I switched it to the other side of the room, it really started coming together. I love using the booth. These are actually the, the diner chairs and the diner booth pieces that I'm using in the corner of the room. And I needed to order a couple more of those as well. So sometimes when you're decorating you can't just do it all in one shot you have to do a good chunk of it evaluate see what items you need go order them and then you can drop the rest of it into place Meanwhile, I'm walking across to the other side where I'm going to put together a bathroom space. And this one, I'm using a lot of these really pastel colors, these super soft pink purpley tones. And bathrooms can be really tricky because there is usually not enough stuff to fill an entire space. It's actually kind of ridiculous. I wish we had the option to make a smaller room space. So I'm trying to figure out how to divide the space up a little bit. And with the room dividers, I was thinking about using one of the ice walls because it is pink and I know that it's pretty at nighttime, but I don't know, it just wasn't working in the space. It was just too harsh. The pink was just too vibrant for the super soft colors that I had going in the room. So I keep playing with it a little bit because I, I knew that I needed something to break the room up, but it was not working for sure. So you can see here, I pull that out and I'm looking through to see what else might work and nothing quite fits that space. So I just went ahead and continued forward on the design even though I didn't know what was gonna go there. Then I realized that I had the mermaid screen in the bedroom. And so I pulled that in and that was 
perfect. It was just what I needed for that space. It had the beautiful colors, it makes sense, it divides the room up well. So I just pulled that out of the bedroom and moved it into here. I'm just adding a few more decorations in place, little tables and plants and chairs and stuff like that. Again, because the bathroom is very large and I was trying to pull things away from the wall, but it really didn't work for the bathroom. And I think it's because so much of the bathroom stuff needs plumbing and is, is definitely closer. So I went ahead and put stuff back onto the wall in the room and it worked okay for the bathroom. Here in the main room, I wanted to keep things very simple. I wanted it to look very much like the outdoor space from the rest of the island. So I've just got a few little kind of billowy little pillows, cushions that I'm using around the statue. I really love the wings on this statue. It's probably my favorite of the statues. And then went ahead and made a bunch more Nova stars and I'm dropping them in place around the room. I'll be turning the lights out in here so that when you enter into the house, you have all the pretty shining things available to you. After putting the Nova stars in place, the last detail were to put up a few star garlands and the star garlands are beautiful. I probably would have preferred more, but at this stage in the build, I've run out of star fragments. Let's take a look at the final build. You can see how that cloud flooring just swirls around with all the beautiful shiny things. It's definitely a dreamy room, just what I was hoping it would be. The first room we're going to visit is the basement. It's very simple, little bright, sunshiny cloud flooring that's built to look a little bit like a backyard. The next room that we're going to visit is straight upstairs. I kept this room very simple with the lights out and the moon in the middle. You can see how the galaxy floor and the galaxy wall look amazing. I sure wish we could use this particular floor out on the rest of the island. The next place I'm gonna go is to the left and we're gonna take a look at the final bathroom. You can see all those pastel colors as they come together and I turned the water on so it would head down into the bathtub. Went ahead and put some music in here and I really like the way this room came together even though it was a tricky place to do. The next place we're going to go is straight across the room and visit the kitchen. After getting the rest of the den desks and the diner stuff in place, you'll see how it really came together. I love the way that the cloud flooring makes this very cheerful place into kind of a unique kitchen. Sort of perfect for this island, I think. The last room we have to visit in the house is the bedroom. So all the way back here in the bedroom, we're going to pop in and see that beautiful pink. I went ahead and added the little bit of the pendants and the, the garlands and stuff in because I took the mermaid screen out. It just needed a little bit more and I think it worked out perfectly. I hope you guys found something useful here and that you continue creating in this game. Until next time, have the best Animal Crossing day.